Hello YouTube, it's Balamore here, back again with more Blind Gaming. Today we're playing Dying Light, hard mode difficulty for the PC, of course, and we're on part 40 of our series. Hooray! We are, uh, we got a slew, and I mean a slew of secondary quests, so we're picking them away. On top, you look at the map here. Um, oh crap, you can't. It's because I'm in the building, but there's a bunch of question mark quest points, so I'll be grabbing all of them. And we'll be doing several videos of secondary quests. But these secondary quests are all fun. And they feel like main story quests. So right now we're on cease and desist. Feel free to read the tool tip. Um, pause at your leisure. But we found Rice's men are after this governor to kill him. He's the governor. Well, not really anymore. But supposedly they attempted to kill him. And they're already... He, he's missing a leg. And... Um, he just wants me to help kill them. So I took the job. He promised me something no one else can offer. I have a feeling he's going to backstab me because that's what rich people like to do in games or real life. So without further ado, guys, let's get to it. Come on. Hop up there. Are you kidding me? You can grapple buildings, but not. I'm not used to this parkour crap. I don't like it, to be honest. I mean, it's still cool, but I was never a fan. Never, never, never. A little graffiti. You know there's zombies running around because they're just like ripped up. I mean, somebody ate most of him. Man, I'm having a real bad day. Some wildlife? I know there's going to be a fucking boomer. I'm, that's the one thing I am worried about in this game. You guys heard me complaining. These boomers, man. One shot, it's over. At least you get a little delay. Okay, I can go upstairs or down that hall. Goodness gracious. The spook factor is really good. I mean, something's running around killing everything. Everything. All right, so it looks like it was down the hall. For Rizzle. Yeah, I said for Rizzle. <laughs> Wait a second. Is this the hall I was talking about? Kareem, it's Crane. Drop your weapon or you're dead. What the hell's your problem? This doesn't concern you. Sorry, Kareem, but Errol Asani is my concern. You're working for him? <laughs> you're a fool. I was his bodyguard, okay? After everything got fucked up and they built the wall, we got overrun. He got bitten on the leg. I took him to Randall, the only doctor I knew in the slums, and we cut it off, clean. It was the only way. He would have turned if we hadn't done it. But the stubborn bastard never forgave us. So we parted ways. So why are you trying to track him down now? Early on, the authorities evac all the political bigwigs out of the zone. Errol told us there was a chopper on the way to take us out with him. Then he got bitten, and with all the shit that happened after that, we missed the flight. But after you turned on the transmitter, we heard Errol asking for evac. And a couple of days ago, somebody responded. From outside. The old bastard's got a flight out, and I want a seat on it. All right, what about Rice? Does he care about this guy? <laughs> Not a rat's ass. This was my business. I just want to get out of Haran. Yeah, well, looks like you won't be making that flight, huh? That had already dawned on me. But I'd like to walk out of here. Look, if I see you again, I'm gonna assume the worst. You got it? Fair enough. Good luck, Crane. You're going to need it. He's a shady, shady cat. So, if he's telling the truth, the old guy's lying, which is not a shocker. <laughs> Yeah. Can't get in there. He's definitely not letting me in there. 
Um, so yeah, he lost his leg some other way. Alright, he just wants us to return. gonna be that simple just just return <laughs> or is Kareem gonna make like an alarm go off so I have to fight my way I'm just waiting for that next boomer you know it all right we need to go back actually yeah Damn. well at least it's saying I can go up Yes, it will. Oh, I just hadn't finished the quest up. I love you, load time. I don't even need to pause the video. It's great. I was cutting out to, so when you guys watch with my games like Fallout and stuff, uh, you don't see. I don't have huge load times. It's always been very quick, but um, I want you guys to have the best experience, you know? Now you can jump off and do this. I hope I don't die. F it. Let's do it. Are you kidding me? I kept clicking it. You should be able to grapple as you jump down. I don't know why. Maybe it's like if you get too high. So apologize about it. Fail. It's not like I'm losing survival points. Well, this is a different one. You got any blueprints? Stupid. Uh, let's see here. Oh, I remember this safe house. <laughs> this is where I was farming um, Julie that one time. It's actually a great place to do at night. <laughs> I'm definitely in love with this game. It's a beautiful game. Got a fantastic story so far. I hope it, you know, keeps up with the hype. I think there's um, an expansion for it, isn't there? It's with the following. I'm almost tempted to buy it at some point. I don't know if I'll do it right away because I, I, I do have the um, Penumbra, Amnesia, Soma all those type of survival horrors in mind. <sighs> I'll just have to think about it. I know what you guys think. But the feedback that I've gotten, that that's the consensus. Where the frick was this thing? What's that? Public school. Iran Public School. Did you find them? Yeah, I did. Kareem's take on losing your leg was a bit different than yours. So, you talked to him. Edward was right. You do talk too much. You should leave the talking to people like me, and I'll leave the killing to people like you. However, Kareem was my bodyguard. He allowed me to get bitten, but I don't really blame him for that. Hey, he saved your life. By hacking off my leg? The morning I was bitten was the same day they began dropping suppressants. You understand? I told him the antigen drops would begin within hours. All they had to do was wait. Instead, he listened to that idiot doctor of his, and Karim held me down as the butcher chopped off my leg. Now he thinks I should fly him out of here. Well, I told him that's not going to happen. You should have killed him. How about you leave the killing to people like me, huh? Quite right. Touche. I can get you out of here, Crane. Maybe I like it here. More likely you've made your own arrangements. Well, they won't work. You've been bitten. I can see it in your eyes. You'll never get past the NCOR quarantine. Past what? You see, you have no idea what's going on in the real world. Whoever you think you know, they're not political. And that's the only thing that's going to work now. You don't believe me? 
Then think of it as an ace up your sleeve, a backup plan. In case you haven't noticed, things don't always work out the way they're supposed to in this town. Right. If I'm interested, what happens next? Two things. The first is we need to paint some markers on the rooftop. There's no paint around here, so you'll have to go out and find some. And the second thing is... Well, let's just say you'll be leaving here in a better way than when you arrived. Yeah, he's full of crap. He's gonna he's gonna no, get me to go help. Go find him. some paint. And he's gonna There's leave me. There's a construction site nearby. You I know what. That's what he's gonna do. He's gonna fly off. I can almost gay roam T it. Cause he's a coward and not a man of his word. You think you think I'm wrong? <laughs> that is a boomer. Yeah, it was a boomer. And they're gonna be coming. I can hear Mr. Screaming Pants. Oh, there's one of them. I think I saw paint up here. He killed himself. Hmm. This is Ayo speaking. Do you know the drill? Get to the nearest safe house and wait until dawn. Yeah, Good of course night. it's almost nighttime. Good luck. <sighs> it's so weird. I remember a couple times I tried to um you know wait for night. I think that electric plant quest. I tried to wait for nighttime and it felt like it took forever. Let's see if there's something down here. Oh, looky, looky. I need two more. Well, at least I found one. I'm in a safe house, so this is all good. There's those binoculars. Sweet. I was wondering, because I had a quest asking to get binoculars. Zombies are waiting for me. All right, I'm gonna pause the video while I collect. Okay, here is another one. It's in one of the corners here by this. Just looking around, I was having a hard time finding it. All right, one more left, I believe. Yep, one more left. So let me pause it and find the last one. Okay guys, and the last and final paint can was on the scaffolding down at the bottom near the, um, I think the ramp's up there. Don't quote me on that. I just kind of made my way down and went around the building and, you know, found it. So here it is here, next to a garbage bags or whatnot. Okay, now, go to the roof. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> See, I was just.
jump in it and let me grab there. That's dumb. Dumb, 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 dumb. Well, I guess it's this roof. We're spelling help. Or Lope. Yeah, he's gonna say, Oh, I won't double cross you. Right, the roof's been painted. Good. Now there is one last thing. There's a duffel bag in a locker on the second floor. I'd like you to bring it to me. Since you'll probably open it, there's no point trying to hide the fact that there's $24.7 million inside it. One third of it is yours, if you can bring it back. Why doesn't Edward get it? Uh, there are too many biters there. I can't risk losing him. We'd be completely defenseless. And this money's yours? Most of the bank's depositors are no longer human. Stealing from them isn't a crime. Why have you never once taken the wallet of a biter that you've beaten to death? Okay, I'll recover the bag, but there's no calling in the evac until I say so. When I bring back the money, I'm taking the radio. That is unacceptable. Yeah, but you'll accept it anyway because you have no choice. You're worse than cream. Very well. I accept your terms. Mm-hmm. There is no money. I, I already... I already know it. So, on the second floor? somewhere in here. Gosh dang it. to futz around with it, but uh, next video we will pursue this magical bag of millions of dollars that we already know doesn't exist. He's going to take the evac out and screw me. That's how it's going to go down. I already know it. <laughs> uh, well, I think that's... Hmm. It's going to be something simple and I'm going to go, ugh. Alright guys, well thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that video nonetheless. Um, I hope to see you next video and we'll probably get some action there so that should be good. But like, comment, subscribe, and share. I hope to see you guys next video and many more to come. Um, until next time though guys, as always, later.